Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to plot histogram using base R function hist. Histogram is very popular plot type to show distribution of data of one or multiple variables for comparison purposes. X axis of histogram corresponds to beans or portions of data which are continuous and Y axis show frequency or density of values in that bin. In R, it's very easy to get histogram. Just hist function and get your histogram. We can annotate it further by changing colors of the columns. Can change number of bins, that is number of columns or bars. Here it is 5 and here it is 20. Can change the y axis value from frequency to density. Can add title to plot. Can change x axis and y axis labels. Can have labels of values which the bars are representing can overlay density plot over the histogram, can fill the overlay density plot, can overlap two different distributions for comparison and can add explanatory legend for the overlaid visual elements. We can decorate and annotate the plot as per our wish to make it more easy to understand by the audience. Let's start making beautiful histograms. We will learn step by step. In this example, for demonstration purpose, we will use a made up data and here I have prepared the data and stored it as vector A and those are R norm function, randomly selected, normally distributed thousand numbers. Mean will be zero and standard deviation will be one. I will run that and this is the data, these thousand numbers are there and we want to see their distribution. We will plot histogram using hist function and that hist function takes argument, first argument is the data variable and it's a monovariate plot, histogram is a monovariate plot, therefore just one variable we are providing it and uh, we have got the histogram. This histogram, number of beans, uh, x-axis, y-axis, all those are selected by default. We can annotate those. Now here we'll uh, change its uh, number of beans that uh, breaks breaks is equal to and here we will make that number 5 this number of beans will get changed uh, that number will make 15 it got changed that number we can increase and it's up to you to select this number to make uh, this this histogram as informative as possible optimum number of beans shall be selected to see the distribution properly here we can see that it's a bell shaped curve normal distribution is there now we'll change the color color of these beans or color of the bars using the call argument or color argument of generic plot function terrain colors will use here terrain colors number of colors shall be same as the number of beans here we'll make that 15 those colors are there you can select specific color also for all of these i will make it gray 60 and this is a color name therefore i will enclose that into uh, inverted quote and we'll run that you can see the color is there you can have color of choice here i will change that to red and the red color is there or beans are red <coughs> or we can make it sky blue and the sky blue color is there here the default scale is frequency and we'll change that to probability or density by changing the option here i will put prob is equal to true and this scale will get changed from frequency to density scale and here that density scale is there. Now we will add titles to this plot. Main title first. Main is equal to in inverted quote histogram of where A to differentiate from this histogram of A default one. Uh, X lab is equal to in inverted quote where A. Y lab is equal to here it is density. Therefore it will be density of A. And when we run that, we'll have titles to this plot. Then we can add uh, values of density or probability over these bars. And for that, we have to save this histogram object. I will save it as histob. And that assignment operator is there to uh, save this histogram to this. We'll run that and we'll see what is there in hist object. And this hist, ob hist object contains many vectors. That breaks vector is there on which these breaks are uh, uh, determined uh, counts are there these counts we can plot here but it's a density therefore we'll have to plot the density this one these mids are the x-axis value midpoints of these uh, bars we'll uh, plot this uh, density here and for that we'll add the text layer to this histogram 
and that takes layers x will be that x meets this one his object dollar sign that meets that will be x axis y will be the density y is equal to his ob dollar sign density uh, label will be label labels is equal to that density again next we need to adjust it little this adj is equal to 0.5 0.5 and we can change that on this histogram layer layer will add these values and what it is saying that unexpected yeah, here we forgot to put that c and run that those values are there we have to adjust a little that y i will make minus 0.5 and uh, we'll replot again because this is getting overlaid those values are there these values are getting overlapped and also this value is getting beyond plot limit and for that cx i will use cx is equal to 0.7 to uh, reduce size of these labels and here i will add y lim is equal to c 0 comma and 0.45 i will make it 0.45 0 to 0 0.45 limit those labels are there now uh, very good uh, density labels are there to make this plot more informative we can add density curve also or density plot also on this uh, histogram and for that we require to add lines and again this x axis for that positions y axis as histogram density and line color also will specify here color is equal to red these midpoints will get joined by a line and i will run this that density curve is there which is overlaid over the histogram if we want to fill this density curve then we have to change these lines to polygon and when we run that again the similar one will be there but it got filled with this red one and we cannot see the uh, histogram uh, which is behind this uh, density layer now therefore we'll change the color and we'll make the color rgb rgb so that we'll have a uh, transparency to this layer for that the first one 0 0.3 you can play with these numbers to get what you want and i will run this now different color is there and for that i will add transparency 0 0.2 uh, density curve little filled with lit color is there we can change a value to make that color different and now that overlay of density is there over the histogram we can overlay this histogram with another histogram also to different distribution we can show in same histogram but uh, that will be lengthy therefore i will make another video for that we can annotate this histogram as per our requirement and to practice this uh, that histogram is more popular uh, plot type to show distributions of variables if you have liked this video please click the like button share this video with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it thank you thank you for watching this video